Hey everybody, 2 for 4 here. As you may have seen from that intro, we're going for something a little bit different today. Something a little bit more calm, a little bit more relaxed, smooth. Not a lot of yelling, not a lot of funnies. We're just gonna sit back and take a stroll through the universe. We're gonna turn away from our little home here and pick a direction and just try to forget about all the troubles. So I want you to uh, just sit back and get as relaxed as possible. Uh, I've taken off my pants for this just because I'll be relaxed that way. And we're just gonna we're just gonna fly away from our lives here and for the next 20 or so minutes we'll just be uh, you'll just be you, me and the stars. All right? All right, let's do it. So, uh, I guess we'll just start by picking a direction. Boom. There we go. Wow, Saturn. That was a good, that was a good choice. Let's go check out Saturn. You know, Saturn's always up there, always smiling down on us with its rings and all that fun stuff. What's that? Oh, it's just Mars. Everyone knows about Mars. Everyone knows about Saturn. But does that mean they know about Saturn? Oh god, I passed it. There it is. Beautiful Saturn. Just a speck of dust in the cosmic world. We're gonna, we're gonna go say hi to Saturn. Hey Saturn, how's it going? And you know what, uh, uh, if you guys are uh, going through any hard times right now, Feel free to let me know. You know we're all in we're all in this together. The only thing we have is uh is each other, right? Let's just get nice and close and personal with its little ring here. Oh yep. Let's give time a little bit of a pause here. So we can just get a little bit closer and see what's going on. Yeah. Mostly dust. As we ride the lines of Saturn. As we go along these lines of Saturn, I want you guys to think deep about all the things that are troubling you. And just know, just know for, for now, for this moment, they're out there somewhere. They're not with you here, not on Saturn. We'll get back there eventually, though. But for now, you don't need to worry. Let's go look at Titan. It's a pretty well-known moon. Kind of a, kind of a bright-looking moon. There it is. Let's get on a little bit closer. A lot farther away than I thought. I don't want to zoom past it, though. Ah, Titan. Frozen Titan. Huh. Doesn't look that frozen to me. Let's go take a closer look at Titan, though. See what it has to offer us. See what the planet Titan, I mean the moon Titan, does for us. Ah. There's nothing here. Isn't that great? Look at all the nothing. Well. Let's leave Saturn. We've still got a lot more to look at. <sighs> Let's see. Now that we've uh, given Titan a little bomb voyage, maybe we should leave our little solar system. There's, uh, there's the sun, as you can see. So let's take a step back from, from a big old sun. See where it takes us as it gets farther and farther away know too that your problems your worries your stresses there they are getting farther and farther away you don't need to worry about them and if you're sitting at your computer going what the hell is this hippy dippy shit i understand 
I feel a little bit ridiculous doing it myself. But, you know, I wanted to take a moment and just try and do something a bit different. You know, just relax and try not to think about things too much. And just go where my heart tells me. Just look out, pick a star, boom. And look, we got a globular. Let's go look at it. Because here there are no limits. We can soar through the stars as fast as we want. Up to a hundred million light years or so. There is a limit, but that's not important. The point is, is that there's a whole universe right above our heads and all we have to do is escape into it. be in the case. Let's get a little bit closer to that globular. There it is. Just a big old glob of suns or something. Each one massive and big. Look at that. Just a binary supergiant. Could you imagine? Living on one of these planets, surrounding one of these globulars, you look up and you see a hundred million suns. But here it is, our little globular friend, our little binary friend. And what's this? Oh, they said binary, didn't they? Oh, binary. Do. And what's this? Where'd it go? It's really difficult to see. Is that it? Yes. Look. A little, a little hot gas giant. Just like, uh, just like Saturn. Oh God. Yep. Look at that beauty. Did I say Saturn? I meant Jupiter. I guess both things are right. They're both gas giants. Look at it, so beautiful. And this is the most important part. You have to move out of this globular. But look. If you had, you know, years and years and if we were assuming I was looking in the right direction, could you point out home? I want you to take that in. I want you to see that it's gone. It's not gone though, not really. It's out of sight, it's out of mind. There's, there's no way to find it. And it's like, and that that's how I, and how I want you to imagine all the hardships, all the stresses and the struggles. That's how I want you to imagine them. Just washed away in a sea of stars. Of course, we're not just confined to our galaxy. There's plenty more. There's home. There's the big old galaxy that we in, we inhabit. Good old Milky Way. If we look around, we can find other galaxies. Of course, the closest one is our dear friend Andromeda. There it is. The Andromeda Galaxy. But it's more than that. We can just pick one. There's nothing that says we can't. There's nothing stopping us from just picking a direction and going there. So just pick a star, the dimmest star, 270 million light years so far, but in no time we can just soar Soar faster than we've ever gone before. 
straight to it. And in mere moments, it's suddenly not that far away. We happen upon it. Quickly and quickly. And before we know it, we're there. We've reached a galaxy, and I want you guys to take this into account. As we look back in the direction we came from. Once again, it's washed away in a sea of stars. There aren't any problems out here in space, fellas. I've chosen the soundtrack because I like the way it sounds. It reminds me of space whales, and I like space whales. But as we descend into this galaxy, we uh, see that it too is quite large and we'll head towards the center and see if we can't find what keeps this bad boy together. There it is. This is the center of this galaxy and at the heart should be a super massive black hole. And we'll be able to pick it out. I do believe that's it right there. Yep. This thing here is what keeps this galaxy together. Where did it go? There. Took a second there. As we get closer, we see that it isn't small, it is massive, and it is a beast at the heart of the galaxy. Unlike any other, it keeps it together. And although you can't really see it, it is spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. If we just speed up time just a little bit, you'll see that to be the case. There you go see it. Now time is going 100% normal speed. You can see it there. There's the date. Here we are getting faster and faster. Faster. As hours whiz by in moments. As days turn into seconds. As months and years turn into seconds. You go and you see that this massive galactic machine never rests. Always going and going and going. The ones closest to the center. Spinning, spinning and spinning and spinning just so fast. Look at it go. And then... That didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. And then you just... You just... You, and then... And then... Everything stops. Yes. Back to the way it was. And that's just one of hundreds and millions of galaxies in the night sky. Each one unique, each one telling its own story. And we can zoom through every single one faster than anyone will ever go. Faster than light, faster than time. And we see some as they shine so brightly Closer and closer, and then whoop, there it goes. What are you, friend? Why are you so shiny? 
This one in particular seems to have a lot of clouds. We'll go in nice and easy. We sit here in the heart of another galaxy. No stress. And once again, we are directed to another globular. And this is, of course, is the heart of this galaxy. We're not going to go look at the black hole in this one because, honestly, we've, we've already seen one of those. I don't know if I'll ever make another video like this again, honestly. I think I just wanted to make this video today of all days to just take a step back from everything and just drift. No worries, no panic. And just get lost in the stars. Could you find home if you had to? I couldn't. We can speed up to max speed, going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. So quick, so fierce. We can even open up the galaxy map if I remember how. But I don't. <laughs> ah yes, the star browser. And here, we can even search up anything we want. We can go see all of the discoveries we've ever made. Such as the Egg Nebula. In case you were wondering, there's home. Just six gajillion light years away. We're going there as fast as we can. Two gajillion light years now. We're getting closer and closer and closer. And there it is. And of course, right next to it, the large Magellan cloud. for home, we're looking for the Egg Nebula. And here it is. Huh. That was, uh, I think that something maybe used a bit more. Oh, apparently this isn't the Milky Way. Okay, well. All right. <laughs> Dwarf moon, stars. Isn't there a sombrero galaxy? Yep. Where is it? Ah, just right over there. All nice and close. I always thought this one was so cool. 
Seems like your average galaxy, but everything is just pushed to the edge, almost. And of course, as always, there's a globular keeping it together. And at the heart of the globular, as usual. the center of the Milky Way. This is what keeps our galaxy together. Extraordinary. But, uh, I think we've about reached our wrapping up point, everybody. And unfortunately, this is the, uh, this is the hardest part. We've had fun. We have. But, uh, unfortunately, despite our travels, life will still go on. We must return to it eventually. There she is. Everything you know, everything that live on, maybe you live there where I live, maybe you live over here, I don't know, I don't know where you live, there we go, there she is, let's make it turn just a little bit slower. Facing the sun, this is home. It's where you live. It's where I live. It's where you were born. And it's where you will die. But, between those two points in time, you've just gotta make the best of it. And sure, you can take 20 minutes to get lost along the, among the stars, but this will always be right here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there and kick some ass for me, all right? <laughs>